Good morning. 10.32 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Saturday, December 30th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Please make sure to hit that like button as you tune in on this uh, Saturday morning. Thinly traded weekend going into a Tuesday because it's a uh, New Year's thinly traded weekend. There will be no uh, trading for the stock market commodities and such on uh monday so it's going to be a thinly traded weekend we will have full crypto coverage because crypto never stops which is why i love it amongst other reasons right now as we know yesterday i wanted xrp and please do me the favor of hitting that like button to push this content through the algorithm and help this increase through the analytics help more people come here to have an active discussion because we truly need a very active discussion this morning we have like we talked about yesterday night this bull flag set up, and if it wants to play out, it could play to the top, but I really did not want it to. I wanted this relative strength for XRP to dump back down to either 603 or down to about 60 cent area. 598 would have been my ideal target to do this, get rejected and come down, clear out the RSI, making it for a more impactful run up and likely a bre breach if we were able to do that right now with what we're doing. XLM right now is up almost 4%. So let's take a look at XLM to see if it's predictor. 13,488. XRP is up 0.29%. There's only 37 or 26 minutes left in this four hourly candle for XRP, which is why this is the most opportune time to do this um, update because we can see if, in fact, it's got eyes like XLM. As you can see, XLM two hourly is pushing back into oversold close. Got a little bit of a retracement, but we'll see what happens after this. 30 minutes going to be up there but it's got a slight pullback it looks like it wants to retest this area but as we can see we've already had a nice little breakout here for xlm on this saturday morning and if we can hold this we do have a technical move up here which could get us up to 15.5 that would be if it held this formation and then got supported on it and then was able to break out so consider that so now that we know what xlm's doing within a much wider pattern but it's breaking to the top side as of right now and your big target would be 15.5 if that happens. XRP, conversely, we haven't exactly started the move that um, XLM is doing, but we definitely have eyes to do the same thing. And what I mean by that is we can see this reversal happening in the two hourly. We can very definely see a bull flag here that has set up distinctly. And this is where it's going to try to break out. It came down. And now you form like what looks like a breakout of a small bull flag, which should bring us right here. 64 cents would be your logical target here on this thinly traded weekend. Even if you're going for rejection, we're at about 6258, we'll say. That's about 1.982%. And then if we were to get over that 638 level, then you could look at the more permanent target. It would be to come back up in this range, which is what I would actually be looking at if we do make a playback up. And it makes sense to come up there 4.6% to that 65.4 if in fact we are going on a reversal rally which it looks like we are here to start this thinly traded weekend we're still well within a bull flag my own personal bias what i want to happen and what's going to happen doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the same thing i said it could go up or down but depending on if we go for resistance or come down to support is going to be two completely entirely different outlooks when we get to where we're going if we dump down here and get rejected on the 20 day and the four hourly and reverse back down even though this is a every bit of an inverted hammer after a hammer candle prior which was a little bearish hammer candle but with the performance it was showing i think we have to um look a little bit deeper here so this very well could be a reverse one if you were going long i would encourage you if you're doing that just put your stop loss under 62 cents if it comes back below this candle or if you want to be a little bit of an optimist 6158 but i'm telling you this th these are risky plays but if it does do what xlm did it should have a little playback up as that's what it looks like it's trying to do on this thinly traded weekend instead of going to support it looks like they could possibly try to give us a little bit of a new year's pump here going into the new year and then as we know escrow dump tomorrow night going into the new year last month remember though it didn't do diddly squat we sat in the exact same spot even after the escrow dump we went up a couple percent and we're still on that same exact inverted head and shoulders consolidation. So it did nothing to the price action. Um, so that's what I'm looking at right now. 
I think right now we're just trying to see if XRP is in fact going to continue up to resistance or if we can play down. But as of right now, it's looking like we're breaking out of the RSI a little bit in the shorter time frames. Two hourlies crossed above resistance from what I can tell. Yeah, see this? I wish it would have just took that last leg down. If it would have this morning, we'd be looking so hot as far as a longer uh, longevity here. But as it is, we're going to just have to see how this plays out. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. If you got anything out of this morning update, please make sure to hit that like button. Share this far and wide on social media. Consider subscribing to the channel as we just recently went over 19,500 subscribers as we target 20,000 here in the audience, which is an incredible accomplishment by this community. And if you're looking to trade XRP or your favorite crypto, you can look in the video description below and you can get every single way that I use the trade with the lowest spot fees. You can long or short the market on the ways that I'm uh, giving you to trade on. And obviously, if you want to show me personal support, you can always join Tom Zummer or send a YouTube super chat during this holiday season. It's greatly appreciated for the time put in as I don't do any paid promotions, advertisements, or sponsorships of any kind because I want you to have a free viewing experience and I don't charge for any of my content. So be alert this weekend. That's the bottom line. Be alert. Not much in the making of news right now. But what we're looking for is, is XRP going to come down to first target would be around 608 and then down to 60 cents, depending on if it wanted to uh, go down to the broadening, or, yeah, the broadening wide short term support or the bull flag support. But as it is right now, it looks like we could be pushing up to resistance. So, um, and then I just wanted to, uh, we can read this very quickly. Ripple executive slam SEC for its forever crypto ground where XRP price eyes recovery. Ripple's chief legal officer, Stuart Elderody, shared his views on the merits of the Terraform case ruling. Judge Rakoff sided with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in the lawsuit against Terraform Labs. XRP at price eyes recovery to 70 cents as Bitcoin sustains above uh, 42,000. Ripple's chief legal, uh, legal officer, Stuart Elderody, highlighted that the judge presiding over the Terraform case did not criticize or even cite Judge Therese's Ripple ruling. Elderly called out the SEC for its forever crypto ground where XRP price blah, blah, blah. So on December 28th, the U.S. federal judge ruled that Duquan and Terraform Labs have violated U.S. law by failing to register two digital currencies, Luna and UST. These two assets imploded in 2022. And you know what? As far as Luna and the UST stablecoin, they deserve to be charged. It's apples and oranges compared to Ripple. And I don't know why Stuart Elderode is putting his neck out like this because it's apples to oranges, legit talk. They legitimately screwed over investors with Luna and the U um, the Terra stable or the Luna, uh, what was it? The UST it was a stable coin of Luna. It it was a joke. Um, Judge Rakoff sided with the Securities and Exchange Commission, SC, and its ruling. And noted the cryptocurrency assets of Terraform Labs are unregistered securities because they qualified as an investment contract. This is the part that I disagree with the SEC. They could have went after them for different bounds. And this is the part that I will back Elderody on when it comes to securities. Ripple CLO Elderody claimed that he had no firm view on the merits of the case and shared facts of the ruling in a recent tweet. The executive noted that Judge Jed Rakoff did not criticize or even cite Judge Torres' Ripple ruling. Elderody observed that there was SEC's forever crypto ground wars on the U.S., Financial regulator is fighting token by token in a lengthy litigation process. Elderly condemns the SEC's fight against cryptocurrency firms and tokens. And then I'll release this update after I read this. Stuart Elderody on his um, verified X account, formerly known as Twitter. I have no firm view on the merits of the Terraform case, but here are a couple of thoughts on yesterday's ruling. One, facts matter. Two, Judge Rackup did not criticize, let alone even cite Judge Torres' Ripple. Ruling three, the SEC's forever crypto ground war fighting... Uh, fighting token by token in lengthy litigation is a fool's errand driven by a quest for political power over sound policy. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning update. Take care of each other. Remember, watch, recycle, repeat. Watch the content, recycle it to friends and family. Come back by watching the next update. Repeat. And we are judged by the way we treat each other. We are the biggest indictment on humanity. We choose the light in this community over the dark. We choose to play the winner, not the victim, which means we have to have all the information on the charts and news alike to make an educated and informed decision. We understand that our personal and emotional bias doesn't tell us where XRP is going to go. We leave that specifically up to what the charts show us. Have a blessed morning.